it may look like a gold nugget. But behind Ferrero Rocher's elegance lies a remarkable tale. Born in 1989 in the small town of Alba, Italy, Michele Ferrero turned his father's local bakery into a global chocolate giant. Today, Ferrero Rocher symbolizes sweet success, boasting over $15 billion in annual revenue and holding a significant share of the global chocolate market. Ever wondered how this golden treat became a worldwide sensation? Life was simple in the small town of Alba, nestled in Piedmont, Italy. In the early 20th century, Alba was more than just a dot on the map. It was the birthplace of Ferrero Rocher's legacy. Pietro Ferrero established a modest bakery in this unassuming town that would become the starting point of a sweet revolution. Pietro's bakery, while unpretentious, laid the foundation for Ferrero's future success. In those early days, he crafted a local delight called pasta zanduja, a thick and chocolatey paste. This humble creation, born out of necessity, showcased Pietro's ingenuity in using hazelnuts as a cost-effective substitute for scarce chocolate during challenging times like wartime. With its rich Roman history, Alba served as the backdrop for Pietro's bakery. He known for its prestigious vineyards, the town became the canvas on which the Ferrero story unfolded. The blend of local roots and historical heritage provided the perfect environment for the Ferrero family to experiment and innovate. As the aroma of chocolate wafted through Alba's streets, little did the locals know that Pietro's modest bakery would be the catalyst for a global confectionery empire. But have you wondered what the childhood of the maestro behind Ferrero Rocher was like? He was born in 1989 and had a sweet upbringing. Michelle's father, Pietro, wore the hats of pastry chef and entrepreneur. Growing up in the aroma-filled environment of his father's bakery, young Michelli was immersed in chocolate creation from an early age. Pietro's dual roles surely made for interesting family gatherings. Just imagine the dessert debates. However, life took a challenging turn for Michelle. Losing his father at a young age marked a turning point. The pastry chef's hat was passed on to Michelle who is now responsible for carrying forward his father's legacy. In the midst of life's bitter moments, there's a touch of sweetness in imagining a young Michel, perhaps covered in chocolate, inheriting his father's culinary genius. Now, what was Michel Ferrero's recipe for transforming chocolate from a luxury to an everyday delight? Enter Super Crema, the chocolate spread revolutionizing how we indulge in sweetness. Born in 1949, Super Crema wasn't just a spread, but a massive game changer. Chocolate was not just a treat for special occasions, but an affordable delight for every day. With Super Crema, Michelle Ferrero cracked the code of making chocolate accessible to the average Italian. Hazelnuts, a cost-effective substitute for chocolate, became the secret ingredient that added flavor and affordability. The genius didn't stop with the recipe. Michelle understood the power of marketing. In a stroke of brilliance, he sent out trucks painted in Ferrero's signature colors, traveling across Italy and giving out chocolate to children. It wasn't just a giveaway, but a strategy that recognized the untapped market potential in the younger audience. Yeah, we made it. Imagine the excitement in those towns when the chocolate truck rolled in, kids chasing it, adults eyeing the delightful jars of Super Crema. The iconic truck giveaway created a buzz and laid the foundation for Ferrero's future marketing endeavors. With a twinkle in his eye, Michel Ferrero turned the simple act of handing out chocolate into a sweet sensation that would resonate for generations. Now, this may come out as a surprise, but did you know that the humble Super Crema underwent a magical transformation in 1964, emerging from its cocoon as the internationally beloved Nutella? So, what's the secret recipes behind Nutella's irresistible charm? Locked away like a prized possession, the exact details remain a closely guarded mystery. Legend has it that the original Nutella recipe was once translated into Arabic and secured in an Egyptian vault. That's right, Nutella's formula is so hush-hush that it's practically under chocolatey witness protection. The global love affair with Nutella began, and it began strong. In 1983, Michel Ferrero took a leap of faith and exported Nutella to the United States. 
What happened next was nothing short of a hazelnut fueled revolution, Nutella became a global sensation with sales skyrocketing year after year. Imagine Nutella spreading its hazelnut magic across continents, winning hearts, one jar at a time. The impact on Ferrero's growth was no joke. By tapping into the sweet tooth of people worldwide, Ferrero's annual revenue soared, firmly establishing it as a dominant force in the chocolate industry. Now, who would have thought that a jar of hazelnut chocolate spread could become a global icon eliciting smiles and spreading joy. Perhaps Nutella's secret ingredient is a dash of enchantment, or maybe it's just the power of a good chocolate. What about a little trip down memory lane to 1968 when Kinder, the delight of children and the headache of dentists, was born? Michel Ferrero designed Kinder to be a child's dream come true. Kinder products boast a unique combination of milk chocolate, sugar, milk powder, and cocoa. It's not just chocolate, it's a harmonious blend of flavors that dance on the taste buds, making it a favorite among the young and the young at heart. Picture this, Kinder Surprise Eggs, those iconic egg-shaped chocolates with a little surprise tucked inside. It's a genius move. The excitement of the unknown hidden within a shell of creamy milk chocolate is enough to turn any child into a Kinder enthusiast. And for those craving a crispy and creamy experience, Kinder Bueno is a wafer-studded marvel filled with hazelnut cream. So, next time you see a child gleefully unwrapping a Kinder product, remember that it's not just chocolate. It's a strategic combination of surprise, delight, and maybe a touch of mischief. After all, what's a childhood without a bit of sweetness and a Kinder chuckle? And then there's the famous Ferrero Rocher. In 1979, Michel Ferrero, inspired by a pilgrimage to Rocher de Massabielle in southern France, unveiled this golden nugget. Each layer of the Ferrero Rocher is carefully crafted like a work of art. It starts with a whole crunchy hazelnut dipped in the creamy embrace of Nutella, wrapped in a delicate wafer shell, and finally crowned with a decadent layer of chocolate and roasted hazelnut pieces. But the packaging, that distinctive gold foil, isn't just for show. The secret sauce transforms Ferrero Rocher into a pseudo high-end product loosely associated with wealth. The golden wrapping is so iconic that plastic boxes or displays are transparent, emphasizing the gold like a treasure chest. But how did a local bakery in a small Italian town become a global chocolate phenomenon? First off, Michel Ferrero's global expansion strategy was no joke. He ventured into the German market converting old missile factories into candy manufacturers. Talk about turning missiles into sweet missiles of delight. This strategic move, combined with post-war infrastructure, fueled Ferrero's growth. Michel diversified raw material sourcing to sustain the sweet empire, ensuring a steady supply of hazelnuts. Factories sprouted like cocoa plants across five continents, securing Ferrero's position as a global chocolate player. Michelle's marketing brilliance deserves a standing ovation. While maintaining a luxury image for Ferrero, he tapped into diverse markets. Whether you're in Paris or Tokyo, Ferrero's chocolates promise the same decadence. Now, let's talk about the impact on Alba, Ferrero's hometown. Michelle turned it into a hub, expanding bus lines for workers and funding social programs. Alba transformed from a barn cultural community to a Ferrero haven. No wonder there's never been a strike at the Ferrero factory. And the Ferrero Foundation, established in Alba, isn't just a sweet gesture. It houses a kindergarten, a school, a bar, fitness rooms, and more. Even the local population is embedded in Ferrero's chocolate-covered heart. Fast forward to 2023, and the Ferrero legacy continues with Giovanni Ferrero and Lapo Civiletti as the leaders. With over $15 billion in annual revenue in 2022, Ferrero purchased businesses from Nestlé, deepening its roots in the global food market. The sweet empire remains in the family, a testament to Michelle's legacy. So, what's your favorite Ferrero treat, and where in the world have you enjoyed it?